Alemania. Amazon. Russian, the Russian soldier, and he's um, standing right next to the piano and trying to, I don't know, maybe he's trying to play some piano, and then um, uh, he's standing in a field. It seems to be the worst they trying uh, because of the war. And um, I and father, uh, is it? Become a musician. Now I want to play uh, more uh, instrument such, such as uh, guitar, flute, cajon. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I see a uh, woman. She uh, standing and looking uh, for a uh, for a flower. Just had, had finished my second session at the cafe. Uh, another awesome, awesome time speaking with a whole range of people. Um, what was interesting today was not so much uh, the number of people there. We had about, I don't know, I must have sat down for a couple of hours with five or six. Um, but was the spread, like the different lifestyles and abilities of English. And one guy, really interesting, he, he was kind of older, maybe in his mid-30s, I'm guessing. Um, he has actually been in New Zealand. He's been to, uh, where has he been? Malaysia. He'd been around, not around the world, but he'd been in a couple of countries with his work. So he was a, quite a highly educated uh, businessman. And, um, and at the same table, we were having a chat was a, c a couple of young boys who were, you know, kind of like scallywag boys, basically, that, you know, the ones who will skip school when they can. Their, their English is uh, unsurprisingly the lowest ability. <laughs> um, but they were still there having fun. And those guys, as the class clown is anywhere in the world, is um, good value for some things. You know, they're funny and you can crack a joke. And, and if you crack a joke at them in English and they laugh, then you think, well, they're speaking English and they're understanding, so it's all good. Um, the street that I'm just passing through, I don't know the name of it, it's just across the road from the hotel I'm staying in. And um, this is like your classic little Asian urban street. They're not even streets, they're like alleys. And this is like the big alley and all these little offshoot alleys come off it. And um, you know, people live in houses and apartments and some of them are tiny, some of the you know, wealthier people got a bigger one, but nobody has a lawn or anything extravagant, things that we take for granted in, at home. Um, and that gives you, that sort of gives you an understanding as to why they take full advantage of public days, public space days, to go out with the kids and play, because they don't get the same amount of space to do that, you know, at home. But if you can sort of look in, in behind me, you know, this is like a typical street. This is, a, I'm in Vietnam, but this is the same in, in Thailand and everywhere, probably, like, uh, I'll try and get it behind me. See that, like little alleyway? You know, probably, I don't know, heaps of people will live down there. And off, uh, sometimes the door just comes straight off the actual street. Um, you walk down these streets and people will say hello and some will just stare because it's a bit of an oddity to see a foreigner even walking down here I suppose but it's really cool. I just went to a laundry and paid, uh, they do things by the kilo so they weigh your, your, your laundry and they charge you. I think I paid uh, 15,000 dong which is about a dollar for them to wash and dry and fold my clothes so that's pretty good. Well, there's no other way for me to do it anyway so. Yeah, no, I'm having, having a great time. True. At Hong Lan Hotel is where I'm staying, straight across there. Yeah. There's a temple there. And, uh, Xin chào. Bangkok, Hong. So yeah, just chilling out, it's a beautiful day.